Now, in terms of other things that I've been doing, uh, a friend of mine asked me to test out his Renegade uh, Velocity airbrush, which I finally got a chance to do last night. Um, it's a, it's actually a really nice airbrush. I was able to get um, a nice amount of detail on it. I, I didn't have too much time to do it. So this is, these are some, uh, just some sample lines that I've done uh, with my custom Micron. And I, I kind of wish I had more time to really dial it in. Uh, and then this, is, the, this back here are the ones that I did uh, using the velocity. And while the, the lines are a little bit softer, uh, the size is pretty good. It handles really well. Um, you know, it's not as clean. Not, you know, I, I couldn't get as clean a line with it, and it wanted to... Um, I want to say it kind of almost wanted to pulse a little bit. Not even sure why. Uh, but it, it definitely, I, I felt like it was something that I could use for most of the uh, miniature painting uh, uses that I might need for an airbrush and even sort of pushing the, the edge of, of what might be possible in, in terms of using an airbrush in small scale. What I didn't like about it, um, let me see if I can show you real quick. What I didn't like about it was uh, up here at the tip, it's got uh, two little, you know what, hold on, I'm going to be right back. All right, see that, see where the needle is? There's uh, almost like a little claw uh, on either side of the needle. Now that is obviously there to protect it. And it does a great job of that. And in, in every airbrush has something like this uh, to protect that needle because I mean, it's, it is super, super, super delicate and you don't want to bend it. And as soon as you bend it, you gotta replace it. And that can be expensive. Uh, and this seems to be one of the best um, compromises between protecting the needle and keeping it out of the way because that's the other thing about the needle is you really want to be able to see it you know when you when you're getting close you're you you're gonna be right next to whatever it is you're painting so uh, if if you have something completely surrounding the needle you can't see the needle you can't necessarily know exactly where your paints gonna go and so like I said this is a good compromise now the problem is now uh, on my airbrush on pretty much every other airbrush that I've used the thing that you put here to protect the needle can be removed if you want to and it gives you an opportunity to uh, to use the, the needle completely exposed and see exactly where uh, where you're pointing the thing you can't remove that right if you take this piece off the airbrush doesn't spray anymore and so I don't know if they have uh, a replacement for this that leaves the needle exposed or not but the other problem too is that you can't adjust like it would be interesting if I could change the positioning of the tines on there, uh, the little claw, so that I could see around around them, uh, and you can't. So it's the only downside to this. Otherwise, this seems like a really nice airbrush, uh, and I was, I was pleasantly surprised with what I was able to do with it. So anyway, there's that.